get around London. So people tend to cluster together, and we're all in Soho, we're all within five or ten minutes walk from each other. We've all worked with each other in previous companies, and you discuss work, and you discuss techniques, and for that reason, there's a, a community spirit in Soho amongst all the animators. The Saab spot came to us from a director who's, who's very used to working in this media. He wanted a seamless pull-out from the steering wheel of a car, out through the back window, round the car, and then away up into the sky. The car itself had to be travelling through a sort of mystical Nordic landscape, across between fjords, sand dunes, ice, driving along this tarmac road. The first stage of this was to pre-visualise the move on the soft demand system. The next part of the process was to transfer the data into the motion control rig. So they got their Saab, saw the roof off it and got the motion control rig and input the data straight from the soft image using an SDK program that we had written ourselves. And then they saw the computer generated car that Hitesh had been working on and said, well that's quite good, very good in fact, and, and has a certain quality that we're not getting off our live action, let's use it. So the guy swung into action and the car was then dropped in over the computer generated landscape. The entire scene, as soon as you get out the window of the car, is computer generated until you get back into the thumbprint right at the very end. Occasionally you get a job that you really want to do. Somebody shows you a storyboard and says, this is the one you've been waiting for. We want some baby penguins playing around in a, a kitchen. Kitchen's all live action. Here's a model of a baby penguin. Here's a real physical model for you to work from. Animate them. Uh, it was as simple as that, and it was that much fun. Oh, yes. The Sci-Fi Channel wanted to polish up their on-air look, so we provided this on-screen graphic for them. We used the mental ray renderer. We used the volumetric shader. The volumetric shader is shining light beams out of the logo. And the glow shader is used around the rings. We've, we've, we've set the shader to pick up the color values of the rings and then glow with its own color away from it. And it's like the rings are on fire. This is great. I mean, this is, this is real lighting. It's not hard, shiny computer graphics. It's real light. It's a joy to deal with. This is a ray gun which is part of a new computer game for Psygnosis. I'm going to use soft image relational modeling which is really nice because I can alter the shape really quickly and see what's going on. We're using it in icon mode which means that we can see the, the splines at the same time as we can see the shaded surfaces. Normally we'd have to move the control points around in a wireframe and then drop back into a shaded view to see how that was behaving. Now we don't have to do that. It's true instant feedback. You change it and you see it happening as you change it. This is soft image 3D paint. The image you see on the left is the image which is being reflected in the fin on the right. As I paint in the image on the left, you can see the changes instantaneously. I'm doing it in real time. I don't have to paint a picture and then render it and then go back and paint a bit more and then render it. It's like holding it in your hand and painting it with a can of spray paint. Framestore's animation has a very definite look. Shaw sure, have developed the first ever concentrated antiperspirant. It comes from trying always to do something that we perhaps don't know whether we can do it when we start, but we think we have a pretty good chance and we give it a shot. And all of our best work has happened that way. New Shaw Microspray. Concentrated power. Maximum protection. The Odyssey was a big project for Framestore. You will suffer. The idea of the sequence was to be this huge face of Poseidon, the god of the waves, towering over Odysseus, talking to him. We took live footage of uh, the actor, and we took some beautiful footage of crashing waves, and we used Soft Image to reconstruct his face in 3D. So what I'm doing here is rotoscoping the live action using Soft Image. 
Then we took the face and we could then map it into the waves. We used displacement mapping effects to take the wave footage and distort the waves so the waves would flow around his nose and flow into his mouth and as he spoke the water would move with him. The big thing we like about Soft Homage is it's a very nicely tightly integrated package that you can be moving from modelling to lighting to rendering very, very fast. It doesn't feel like there are boundaries between them. Odysseus goes and sees Aeolus, who's god of the winds, and Aeolus summons the winds from the skies and give, packs them up into a bag to give them to Odysseus to take away with him. A lot of the live-action elements were quite flat. Steam, which is white, no sense of real depth and form to it. Beautiful movement, but no real depth and form. So we use Mental Array to process the imagery to turn it into 3D models, which we could then light and retexture, add drama to them. In Soho, when we see people doing extremely good pieces of work, generally it means that the community at large looks at computer animation in a new way and thinks, oh yes, we can do that now. Whether it's milk bottles hopping down the street, whether it's doing a Saab commercial, with... whenever somebody does a piece of work, that helps the breed, as it were, then we're all very pleased. Lost World, this girl discovers this little creature. Then she finds herself surrounded by lots of them. They don't only want her sandwich, but they want her. Ooh, ah, that's how it starts. The challenge was first to be able to deal with 25 characters in the screen and then make different uh, personalities for the companies. Over the raw footage, we have the camera match move, which is a computer-generated floor. We draw splines that are telling the compies where they should move in the scene. Then we alter those paths in order to make them change positions. We were building all the animations of the compies jumping, running, three different kinds of runs, leaping, skipping, stopping. We could, with Softimage, previsualize how those compies were moving on those splines, we could see them animated and we could see the interaction of them with the girl. The challenge of Men in Black was we had things that you've just never seen before. Everybody loved the worm guys. One of the sequences was uh, one in the headquarters when the, all the aliens are leaving the Earth. They've got their suitcases with them, and they're pushing a cart of Marlboros, and one of them smoking. We realized we actually need a lot of spring action here, and we can utilize the expressions in Soft Emotion to help us with that. Expressions really allow you to introduce motion into joints that you're not specifically animating. We could use a couple of controllers to move a great number of links in a chain. A lot of people, when they first start off using the software package, they almost wish they could reach into the screen and just grab the damn thing and put it where they want it. I've always found that I didn't have that problem with Soft Image. I could grab the character, the controller, put it somewhere, set a key, it's there. I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's just a very sophisticated tool for a very sophisticated animation. Black video was really different from the feature. Mikey, the lead character alien, is dancing. Mikey is fairly timid, but he also has like a hair trigger. You can set him off. And we see that at the beginning of the video when he confronts Will Smith. At first, there's a standoff between the two of them. Will kind of just blows Mikey off and just starts dancing. And Mikey looks at him and says, hey, this is kind of fun. And all of a sudden, before you know it, Mikey's dancing too. The biggest challenge in animating Mikey is understanding the way his skeleton is put together and the way his body moves. Although we want him to dance like a human, his leg joints are backwards. He has these big, large snowshoe 
floppy feet. Constraints were absolutely critical in locking down those feet. Then later on, I'd animate the upper body with rotations and a lot of the extremities, a lot of the flippers. He believed Mikey's dancing. Soft homage allowed us to just be performance artists, be crawl inside that Mikey suit and just, you know, dance. It was fun. Sorry.